There are moments in life that can catch you off guard. And not always in pleasant ways. When this man faced an injury in a car accident. An unexpected event unfolded. A bear appeared. And what it did next will astonish you. Brian regained consciousness. Feeling as if he were flying. His head throbbed. And confusion surrounded him as he tried to grasp his surroundings and the unfolding situation. Gradually. It dawned on him that his car was airborne. The memories rushed back, he had been driving in the wilderness late at night when a moose suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Despite being a young animal. The situation turned dire when. In an instinctive reaction. He swerved off the road. In the darkness. He couldn't anticipate a hole in the ground. Likely hitting his head during the impact. Brian blacked out briefly. Only to awaken midair. His car rolling uncontrollably. Thoughts of imminent death consumed him as he felt helpless. Tossed like a ragdoll with no control over his own movements. Concerns about how his parents would learn of his demise and the uncertainty of when someone would find him plagued his mind. Hours seemed to pass. Yet he hadn't seen another car for what felt like an eternity. The engagement ring he had hidden for his girlfriend loomed in his thoughts. The descent. Though swift. Felt endless. Finally. The car came to a halt. Smoke emanating from the engine. And all windows shattered. Brian marveled at the fact that his seatbelt had kept him strapped in. A surreal realization that he was still alive. However. The fragility of his situation lingered. And he knew it could change at any moment. His body ached. Blood clouding his vision. Brian was convinced that he had broken several bones in his leg. The night enveloped him in complete silence. Devoid of any distant car sounds. It seemed unlikely that anyone would find him before it was too late, or so he believed. Brian's consciousness wavered. His leg throbbing with a searing pain resembling a fire poker stabbing into it. Drifting in and out of awareness. The agony consistently jerked him back to full consciousness. En route to an interview for his dream job. Brian found it challenging to accept that it might all come to an end like this. If the car accident was shocking. The subsequent ordeal left him speechless. Blacking out again. Brian was roused by a light wind tickling his face. Almost eliciting a smile. However. His heart stopped as he saw a massive bear right in front of him. Through the opening where the windscreen used to be. The bear sniffed at him. And Brian wondered if he was now destined to be mauled by a bear on top of everything else. The bear grabbed the seat belt. Tearing through it before attempting to pull at Brian. Who was powerless to resist. When that approach failed. The bear momentarily retreated. Giving Brian a false sense of relief. However. The danger escalated as the bear returned. And Brian heard the unsettling crunching of metal. Terrifying as it was. Brian. Already in shock. Felt almost numb to the unfolding events. Blackout followed again. And in his last conscious thought. Brian resigned himself to the idea that at least he wouldn't feel the mauling. However. What the bear did next would leave anyone in shock. It somehow managed to extract Brian from his vehicle and proceeded to drag him through the forest. Despite the excruciating pain, there was an odd sense of gentleness in the bear's actions. Brian, amidst his agony, couldn't help but chuckle at the absurdity of the situation, why? Indeed, would a bear be gently dragging him through the forest? It had been a peculiar day, and the strangeness continued to escalate. At a certain point, the bear abruptly stopped and fixed its gaze on Brian. Bracing himself for what seemed like the inevitable end. Brian was taken aback when the bear resumed its journey. Gradually. The pain transformed into an intense coldness. Rendering Brian unable to feel anything. 
his surroundings became hazy. And a sensation of nausea overwhelmed him. Shivering uncontrollably. Brian's teeth rattled. The cold seemingly penetrating every fiber of his being. He was convinced the bear could hear the rattling of his teeth. Suddenly. The bear halted. Dropping him without warning. Beyond fear. Brian watched as the bear walked away. Leaving him alone in a strange forest. The sense of abandonment gripped him. Realizing he might die in solitude. With no one discovering him. Closing his eyes. Brian surrendered to the numbing cold. Allowing himself to drift away. Meanwhile. The bear reached its destination. Perhaps fatigued or sensing the danger of dragging Brian any further. Scratching on a door. It drew the attention of Owen. As soon as Owen opened the door. The bear attempted to pull him towards the spot where it had left Brian. Whether Owen was surprised by the bear's presence or its attempts to communicate something remained well concealed. Likely. This was because Owen had known the bear for as long as he could remember. Owen resided on the family's land, which had once been home to a small animal sanctuary established by his father. Even after his parents moved to town. The farm retained its license to care for animals. Upon returning from active duty, Owen felt uncertain about caring for himself. Let alone another creature. For a considerable time, Owen refrained from taking in any animals. However, his stance changed when he learned about a farmer who discovered a baby bear. Seemingly a newborn. Despite efforts to locate its mother, the cub remained alone. The farmer, unable to care for the bear, found no one with experience in hand-raising such a young cub except for Brian. Although Brian had assisted his father in raising three older cubs in the past, this bear cub was only a few weeks old. Taking in the cub meant it would inevitably form a bond with Owen. And living completely free would be impossible. It would have to stay on Owen's farm for safety. But with the vast expanse of land, the bear could still roam freely. Owen agreed to take in the cub. And it became his pet. As an adult bear, it had the freedom to explore but consistently returned home to its human. The bear even hibernated in Owen's barn each year. Therefore, seeing Molly, the bear, at his door was not unusual. What was surprising was her visibly concerned behavior. Knowing Molly well, Owen followed her. And after a short walk, he discovered the reason for her distress. A man lay on the ground just steps from his door. The man clearly didn't walk there. Evident from the bone sticking out of his leg. Strangely. He had found his way to the only place for hours that could offer assistance. Owen. A retired medic. Had a wealth of first aid gear at home. Brian was in critical condition. And initially. Owen feared he had failed even before having a chance to try. There was no audible heartbeat. Creating a tense few seconds. But Owen finally located it. Relief washed over him as he realized that the man in front of him, Brian, was alive. Now, his primary concern was ensuring Brian stayed that way. Unable to lift Brian into the house, Owen used a blanket, rolling Brian onto it. He found Brian's identification in his pants pocket and attempted to communicate with him, Brian, albeit weakly responded a few times, offering a glimmer of hope. Using the blanket, Owen managed to move Brian the final few steps into his home. Urgently, he called for help. But even with a helicopter, it would take some time. The chopper was en route to another emergency and needed to return. Time was a luxury Brian couldn't afford. Despite Owen's reluctance to take on the responsibility of treating Brian. He had no choice. Brian's life hung in the balance. An action was imperative. 
Owen made Brian as comfortable as possible, then gathered all the first aid gear at his disposal. The first challenge was to warm Brian up. As he was slipping into shock and shivering uncontrollably, Owen covered him with a warm blanket and administered pain medication from his first aid kit. The injection induced sleep. And Brian's entire body relaxed. Providing Owen with some relief. However. The next task would not be easy. Brian's badly injured leg demanded attention. The broken bone was visibly displaced. And with the bone protruding. Owen knew immediate action was crucial. Brian's foot lacked proper circulation. Risking potential loss if not addressed promptly. Utilizing small pieces of wood he had for house updates. Owen fashioned a sizable splint. He carefully bandaged the splint to maintain cleanliness around the open wounds. Preparing for the challenging task ahead, straightening Brian's leg. However. This situation marked the first time in a long while that he would have to treat someone. It was another aspect of his past he had walked away from upon retiring. Avoiding the responsibility of holding someone's life in his hands again. Yet. Now he found himself compelled to do so because the bear had literally dragged that part of his life back into the present. Owen knelt down to check for a pulse. It was perilous, he could easily injure a vein. Almost guaranteeing a fatal outcome. With caution, he maneuvered the bone back into its proper position. This type of procedure was familiar to him. Having performed it countless times. However. Success wasn't guaranteed. And there were instances where those he aided still lost their limbs. As sweat trickled down his back. Triggering memories of past traumas. The satisfaction of providing assistance surged within him. He had forgotten how fulfilling it was to help people. The leg had been realigned. And color was gradually returning to the foot. Owen meticulously secured it with a bandage. Achieving a satisfactory result. Yet. Brian's condition remained critical. With his gear in place. Owen could now closely examine him. Brian's breathing had worsened. And Owen could hear trapped air around his lung. It needed to be released for proper breathing. Owen prayed for the sound of the approaching helicopter. But it remained absent. He was seemingly alone. Although not entirely true. Molly. The bear. Paced outside the windows. Initially left outside for the patient's safety. Owen now found himself reassuring her. Unsure if he was convincing her or himself. With no other option. He retrieved a needle from his medical kit. As he prepared to act. He knew that precision was crucial. Inserting the needle into the plural space. He took measured breaths. Acknowledging his rusty skills. Success depended on his accuracy. A mistake could mean the helicopter wouldn't receive a live patient. The gravity of the situation was palpable as he carefully released the needle. There. He located the precise spot. And as the air escaped. Brian began to breathe. Astonishingly. He even opened his eyes. It seemed that Owen and Molly had successfully done it Brian might survive one of the most harrowing days one could experience. With nothing immediate to attend to. Owen found himself in a state of waiting. He took a moment to release the breath he felt like he had been holding for hours. Then. A welcome sound reached Owen's ears, the approaching helicopter. Help was finally on its way. Brian. Who cherished his solitary life away from people. Had never been happier to hear visitors arriving. However. The prospect of visitors reminded Owen of something crucial. Emergency teams typically didn't encounter bears when aiding someone. Owen didn't want them to be frightened and leave. So he had to move Molly out of the way swiftly. He grabbed her favorite snack. A whole watermelon. And showed it to her. At the sight of her beloved treat. Molly forgot about the human inside. Owen led her to the barn. 
where she happily devoured the watermelon. A special treat he grew in his veggie garden. After ensuring Molly was safely inside, Owen closed the door just in time for the medics to arrive. Brian was still very ill. But he was faring much better than when Molly first brought him to Owen. Watching the helicopter fly away, Owen felt a sense of assurance that Brian was going to make it. A few weeks later, while working in his workshop, Owen heard the approach of a car. It was unusual to have visitors. And Owen went out to investigate. What he saw was beyond his expectations a young woman emerged from the driver's side. And she opened the door for someone else. A young man. Now looking markedly different and using a crutch. Stepped out. It took Owen a moment to recognize him. Surprisingly. It was Brian his leg still encased in a cast. But intact. Owen was on the verge of tears, he had contacted the hospital for updates and was informed about Brian's need for surgery. However. They hadn't provided any further updates. Leading Owen to fear the worst. Seeing Brian in person. Walking with the assistance of a crutch. Was nothing short of incredible. Brian and his new fiance came to personally express their gratitude to Owen for his help. Not only that. But they also brought a thank you gift for Molly. The other hero in their lives. In a large box and a cooler box. They presented Molly with a variety of fruits and a fresh fish. Molly, who had been out exploring, returned quickly at the scent of the fish. Brian, with vague memories of his rescue, was now faced with the reality of a massive bear on its hind legs. Curious about potential offerings. As soon as the fish was offered, Molly eagerly seized it and retreated to savor her meal. The bear had played a pivotal role in saving Brian's life. And everyone who cared for him remained eternally grateful. The incident had a profound impact on Owen as well. As the couple left, urging him to attend their wedding, he recognized the need for changes in his own life. Raised with a deep-rooted sense of duty to assist others. A calling ingrained in him from a young age. Owen had suppressed that part of himself during his military service. Where he had helped many to the point of exhaustion. The bear's heroic act had brought his dormant feelings to the surface. Prompting Owen to reconsider his approach to life. Now. Owen was eager to resume helping people. They lived in a sparsely populated area with numerous hills and scenic camping and hiking spots. Where people often got lost. Prior to the incident, the local search and rescue team had approached Owen about joining their efforts. But he wasn't prepared at the time. Now, with a renewed sense of purpose, he was ready to contribute. Owen could assist in searching for lost individuals, offering help much quicker than other emergency units. Given his proximity to the area, the search and rescue team were thrilled when Owen agreed to join them. And soon he found himself involved in his first cases. The initial experience left him shaking. But it didn't take long for him to readjust. Owen rediscovered the joy of helping both people and animals. He opened his home to more animals in need. Aiding in their recovery from significant challenges. Returning to his true calling. Owen saved many more lives. This positive transformation was all thanks to the bear. Molly. Having witnessed the injured man in the car accident. Had acted against her instincts to ensure he received help. In doing so. She not only saved Brian's life but also countless others. Owen remained dedicated to ensuring that Molly was always a priority. And her life remained unchanged. She deserved the best life he could provide. It was truly remarkable to witness how one act of kindness could set off such a positive ripple effect. Thanks for watching. And join us again for more incredible stories. Let's continue. With the development of society and the continuous expansion of human activities.
nature has also been damaged to a certain extent. The most important thing is that the ecological environment has been seriously damaged. Garbage discarded at will. Sewage discharged from chemical plants and toxic gas are all the time. It threatens the development of the ecological environment. In such a harsh environment. In order to survive in such a harsh environment. The most important thing for wild animals in nature is to obtain sufficient food. However. The destruction of the ecological environment directly leads to the displacement of wild animals. And the most basic source of food cannot be guaranteed. And the animals have to find another way in order to survive. A man's heart has been broken when he found out the truth about a dying python with a bulging belly. When it comes to boa constrictors. Everyone must be afraid of them. Except for the appearance of boa constrictors. There are many cases of boa constrictors hurting people in the past. Therefore. When we encounter boa constrictors in the wild. We will be afraid to avoid them. But we have overlooked one point. The python is also a part of nature. And it is also a spiritual creature. We cannot look at ferocious wild animals with prejudice. All things are equal. Even dangerous wild animals. We also need to respect them. So even if it is a python. If we encounter a ferocious animal like a python by chance in the wild. We should stay away from them and never intentionally hurt them. They are also a life. On the premise of safety. We should also extend a helping hand to them. The story happened at a road construction site in India. The construction site is close to the tropical rainforest. And many small wild animals can often be seen. Pythons like humid and warm environments. So environments like tropical rainforests are also places where pythons often appear. When a worker was resting in the middle of construction. He suddenly saw a strange thing wriggling in the grass. Out of curiosity. The worker decided to take a closer look. As the worker approached. The movement in the grass gradually became louder. And the worker was cautious. When he came to the grass. When he saw the scene in front of him. The worker was so frightened that he sat down on the ground. Trembling uncontrollably. It turned out that it was a boa constrictor curled up in the grass. The worker ran away. But the strange thing was that the boa constrictor did not catch up immediately. After the worker returned to the construction site. He was still in shock and told his other workers that he saw the python. The bold workers did not believe what the worker said. So the worker took the workers to the place where the python was found at the beginning. Seeing this huge python in the grass. The workers all fell into panic. The strange thing is that this python is still curled up in place. Its body is still wriggling slowly. And it seems that it has no energy at all. Because the worker was too scared. He didn't observe the python carefully at all. Looking at it now. He found that the python's belly was very big. As if it had just caught its prey. But usually the python would recover after eating the food. On the contrary. The boa constrictor looked very painful. And did not show any aggressiveness towards the humans that appeared in front of it. This state made the workers present very abnormal. But what they were sure of was that the reason why the boa constrictor looked so uncomfortable that must have something to do with its swollen belly. Everything is life. In order to keep the python alive. The workers decided to help it. But inexperienced workers are definitely not enough. And professional help must be sought. The workers immediately called the veterinary workstation. And the workers described the situation to the veterinarian. The veterinarian arrived at the scene not long after. As soon as the veterinarian arrived. He quickly injected the python with a tranquilizer. And the python recovered quickly. However. The veterinarian told the workers at the scene that the python was dying. And if the contents of the python's stomach were not taken out in time. It would seriously endanger life. 
but it was too late to send the python to the clinic. And the veterinarian had to operate on the spot. The workers spontaneously cleaned up the surrounding environment and guarded around the python to prevent any accidents. Because the tropical rainforest is a place where danger lurks all the time. The veterinarian took out the surgical tools that he carried with him. Cleaned and disinfected them, and began to operate on the python. The veterinarian used the surgical tools to slowly cut open the python's abdomen. The next scene shocked everyone present. The python's stomach is not indigestible food, but a pile of garbage. A pile of garbage discarded by humans in the wild and eaten by the python. The workers looked at each other in disbelief. As if they had thought of something. From the initial fear of the python. It immediately turned into pity and distress. Unexpectedly. A natural predator would hang by a thread because of garbage. Seeing the scene in front of him. The veterinarian didn't care too much about emotion. He only wanted to save the poor animal. The veterinarian carefully cleaned out the garbage in the python's stomach bit by bit. Probably because he was extremely distressed by what happened to the python. The veterinarian's movements were very gentle. For fear of causing secondary damage to the python. After a while. The veterinarian cleaned up the garbage in the python's stomach. And finally sewed up the python's stomach carefully. Make sure that the boa constrictor can survive after it wakes up. The veterinarian who had done all the work stayed quietly in place. Waiting for the python to wake up. The veterinarian told the workers that if they didn't find the python. The python would pass away soon. It was the workers who rescued the python. One life. But what happened to the boa constrictor also caused the people present to fall into contemplation. They didn't expect that it was not their natural enemies that hurt the wild animals. But the garbage discarded by human beings at will. It really makes people feel ashamed. When it was dark. The boa constrictor had gradually regained consciousness. The veterinarian hurriedly placed the food he had brought around the boa constrictor. And then asked the workers to hide in places where the boa constrictor could not see. In case the boa constrictor would do harm to others due to self-protection. After waking up. The boa constrictor stared at the food in front of him. And immediately devoured it. However. It will take time for the body to recover to a healthy state. Fortunately. The boa constrictor saved its life. After eating. The boa constrictor dragged its sickly body and slowly disappeared into the depths of the rainforest. When the veterinarians and workers saw the python slowly disappearing from sight. They left with peace of mind. Praying in their hearts that the python could survive in the jungle. And hoped that the python would remember this experience and stop eating garbage because of hunger. Through this incident. Let us all understand the truth that wild animals that seem to be far away from human life will also suffer from human behaviors that destroy the environment. Therefore, protecting the environment is more important than protecting wild animals. Even wild animals that are naturally ferocious are so vulnerable to human activities. Protecting wild animals and maintaining the balance of nature is not only related to the reproduction and survival of animals but also to the survival and development of human beings. It is also an important symbol to measure the civilization and progress of a country, a nation, and a city. Therefore, organizations related to environmental protection must always adhere to the principles of priority protection, standardized utilization, and strict supervision and firmly establish the concept of ecological civilization that respects nature, conforms to nature, protects nature, and harmonious coexistence between man and nature, and promotes the construction of an ecological civilization highland, promote the harmonious coexistence between man and nature, protect our common friends of mankind, and protect the beauty of diversity.